In the world of combat sports, a single strike can turn a match into a legend and a fighter into a champion. Welcome to Sportsario, where we explore the power and skill that define boxing and karate. Today, we're diving into the top 10 greatest knockouts of all time in boxing history. Get ready to witness the moments where precision, force, and a little bit of luck transformed the ring into a stage for unforgettable stories. Number 10. Samuel Peter Ko to Jeremy Williams Samuel Peter made a big impact on the heavyweight boxing scene, scoring 18 knockouts in his first 20 matches. Known as the Nigerian Nightmare, he seemed poised to become the next big name in the heavyweight division. Although he never fully achieved that status, Peter became known for delivering some unforgettable knockouts. In 2004, he fought Jeremy Williams, a lesser-known heavyweight contender, with the NABF title on the line. The opening round was rather quiet, but the second round was a different story. Peter came out swinging hard, and when Williams tried to get off the ropes, he was hit by a powerful left hand that instantly ended the fight. It took Williams a while to recover, and he only had two more fights afterward, with long gaps in between. Number 9. Sergio Martinez KO2 Paul Williams Sometimes, a punch lands with the force and sound of a car crash, making you genuinely worry if the other guy will be okay. Sergio Martinez had lost his first fight against Paul Williams due to a controversial majority decision, and he was determined not to let history repeat itself in their rematch. Just over a minute into the second round, Martinez unleashed a left hand that made one of the loudest, most gut-wrenching thuds you'll ever hear in a boxing match. Williams collapsed to the canvas in a way that was so unsettling. Everyone watching held their breath, hoping he would be okay. For those who doubt Sergio Martinez's punching power, this fight is proof. Don't worry, watching it won't take long. It ended quickly. Number 8. Antonio Tarver Co. to Roy Jones Jr. People seem to forget just how incredible Roy Jones Jr. was at his peak. He's more like a sideshow traveling the globe looking for fights, which he never did at his prime, and he seems to be the only one who hasn't accepted that his best days are behind him. But this wasn't as obvious when he faced Antonio Tarver in a 2004 rematch after their previous razor-thin fight just six months earlier. Up until then Jones, the top pound-for-pound -pound fighter, had only one loss, which came by disqualification and had dominated the light heavyweight division for years. Yet, Tarver challenged him in their first bout, which Jones blamed on having to lose weight after briefly holding a piece of the heavyweight title. The rematch was shorter but equally stunning. For a fighter who was seldom challenged and had never been hurt, Jones took a brutal left hand that knocked him out for the first time in his career. It marked his first, but not his last, legitimate defeat. Number 7. Juan Manuel Marquez KO 6 Manny Pacquiao Buttery he had been seeking for years. Number 6. Mike Tyson KO 1 Michael Spinks Imagine buying a pay-per-view to watch a boxing match, leaving for a quick drink, and coming back to find the fight already finished. Michael Spinks surprised the boxing world when he relinquished his undisputed light heavyweight title to compete in the heavyweight division. He made waves by defeating the previously unbeaten Larry Holmes to capture the IBF heavyweight title, earning the title of 1985's Upset of the Year. Spinks also beat Holmes in the rematch, leading to an eagerly awaited face-off with the undefeated unified champion, Mike Tyson. Spinks, 31-0, 21 KO, and Tyson, 34-0, 30 KO met in 1988 in one of the most heavily promoted heavyweight title fights. But it turned out to be more hype than anything else. Tyson stormed into the ring, knocking Spinks down twice in the first minute and a half. After the second knockdown, Spinks couldn't get up before the count, and the super fight ended in just 91 seconds. Number 5. Thomas Hearns KO to Roberto Duran It was a golden era of fighters and epic matches, Nowadays, fans often complain that the top boxers rarely face off against each other. But back when we had legends like Tommy Hearns, Roberto Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard, and Marvin Hagler, they all fought each other at some point. Hearns and Duran clashed in 1984 at 154 pounds, where both had titles. 
Duran was known for his relentless aggression and powerful punches. Hearns, however, was the classic boxer puncher, packing a lot of power in both hands. Their fight lasted just two rounds, but the ending was explosive. Hearns unleashed his tremendous power, knocking Duran down flat on his face, which secured the victory. No words can fully describe the sheer force Hearns displayed in this brief but memorable fight. Number 4. Julio Cesar Chavez TKO 12 Meldrick Taylor In 1990, Julio Cesar Chavez stepped into the ring against Meldrick Taylor with a 68-fight winning streak to start his career, but he needed something extraordinary to secure his 69th victory. Entering the 12th and final round, Chavez was in desperate need of a knockout to avoid his first professional loss. As we now know, Taylor was ahead on two of the three judges' scorecards, with scores of 107 to 102 and 108 to 101. All he had to do to win was make it to the final bell. However, in the closing moments, Chavez hit Taylor with a huge right hand, sending him crashing to the canvas. Taylor managed to get back on his feet by the count of six, but he didn't respond when referee Richard Steele spoke to him in the corner. With just two seconds left in the fight, almost at the very last moment, Steele stopped the bout, awarding Chav as one of the most dramatic and controversial TKO victories in boxing history. Number 3. George Foreman KO 10 Michael Moore For nine rounds, it looked like George Foreman's bid to become the oldest heavyweight champion would end in failure. Michael Moore seemed too fast, too smooth, and too skilled for the slow and steady 45-year-old former champion. Then, as Jim Lampley famously put it, it happened. Even in his later years, Foreman retained his fearsome punching power, and Moore felt it firsthand in the 10th round. With a little over a minute left, Foreman threw a crushing straight punch that sent Moore sprawling on the canvas. He couldn't get up before the count, making Foreman the oldest man ever to win a heavyweight championship. Number 2. Julian Jackson Kill 4 Hero Graham Ever wondered what it looks like when a boxer gets knocked out cold before hitting the mat? Julian the Hawk Jackson is still regarded as one of the hardest hitters in boxing history. In 1990, he faced Hero Graham, a former British and European middleweight champion, for the vacant WBC middleweight title. Going into the fourth round, Graham was showcasing his boxing skills. However, you should never underestimate a power puncher like Jackson. And yes, that pun was intended. As Jackson backed up against the ropes, he threw a massive right hand that hit Graham square on the jaw. It was the kind of punch that could stop a truck. Graham's body went completely stiff, and he dropped to the canvas like a board, unconscious before he even landed. Number 1. Buster Douglas KO 10 Mike Tyson Is this the biggest upset in boxing history? Many would say yes. Mike Tyson came to the Tokyo Dome as the undisputed heavyweight champion with 37 wins and a fearsome reputation for knockouts. His challenger, James Buster Douglas, was a fringe contender whose only other title shot ended in a knockout loss to Tony Tucker. Just three weeks before the fight, Douglas's mother died, and he also caught the flu. Despite these setbacks, he entered the fight as a massive 42-to-1 underdog and delivered what many consider the biggest upset in boxing history. Right from the start, it was clear Douglas wasn't intimidated. He used a quick jab to keep Tyson at bay and didn't shy away from trading punches with the hard-hitting champion, a risky strategy. Douglas got knocked down in the eighth round, but he got up, though some thought the count was slow. Then in the 10th round, he stunned the world by knocking Tyson out. This was Tyson's first loss, and it changed him as a fighter forever. We've counted down the knockouts that shook the boxing world and left a lasting impact. Now we want to hear from you. Which knockout left the biggest impression on you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey through the greatest hits in boxing history, Give us a like and subscribe to Sportsario for more insights into the world of boxing and karate. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content.